Hey guys, Johnny again. Um, today, um, this video is about the top 10 worst Def Leppard songs, in my opinion. Uh, not yours, mine. So, um, if you don't like it, go and make your own video or put the comments below. Um, there was a, a guy recently just asked, um, this was somebody, uh, the channel, or well, they haven't really got a proper channel, but it's um, uh, NHEI0, he commented, um, saying he enjoyed my last video about Def Leppard uh, vinyl, I think it was, was it, oh no, CD singles, and, um, but wanted me to do a top 10 Def Leppard songs, my the 10 best ones, and 10 worst, done the top 20 of the 80s but uh, I don't know whether I really I might do one of the uh, from Adrenalize so say from the 90s till now but I don't have a huge amount of songs that I really love from that time um, I can ring off a few now but I'm not going to do that I'll do a video I will do it just just to um, see what I come up with so um, these songs the worst songs in no particular order okay uh, there is only 10 of them uh, well there could be a couple more but I didn't I took those out I just wanted to do 10 um, and yeah no particular order but I will leave uh, the worst one till last all right uh, the one that really I hate with a passion. <laughs> so um, we're going to start off with a song called um, <clears throat> Cruise Control which is on Songs from the Sparkle Lounge. Uh, that is uh, track 6 and it's a Vivian Campbell song. Don't like that one. Um, some of these songs just don't connect with me so uh, they might do with you. Um, the next one is um, off of Retroactive, so uh, let's just call it number nine, um, and the song is uh, She's Too Tough, and uh, I really do not like that song. It was a, a, a B-side to one of the Adrenalize singles, and I didn't even like it then. Um, and also just want to say, people that say, oh, Retroactive Def Leppard album is not really a proper Def Leppard album. It's just a release of um, covers, s some cover songs. Um, it's got action on there. It's got um, uh, from the uh, sorry, uh, only after dark um, as well. Then it's got unfinished songs <coughs> from. Um, the Steve Clark era, Desert Song and Fractured Love, um, and then you've got uh, remixed songs from B sides of Hysteria songs, Hysteria singles, like you know, uh, Ring of Fire, I Want to Be Your Hero, uh, and then it's got uh, what else is there? Uh, Two Steps Behind is. There's only the newer song on here really, but that was even released before this as a B-side on um, one of the Adrenalize singles. So we'd already heard that and then it was released for Last Action Hero soundtrack. Um, but then you got Ride Into the Sun which is off their first EP, but this is the 19... This is the 1993 redone version whereas 1987 it was redone as the 1987 version on a b-side to hysteria uh, an hysteria single um, and so you can never call this a proper Def Leppard album so it's like a, a rarities uh, remixed uh, compilation type thing or unfinished songs um, so then 
so she he's, she's too tough number nine number um eight i've put in which is really a terrible song <laughs> it's off of this again and it's the song um number nine bad actress really can't stand that that's a terrible terrible song um and then number seven i've got um get the right album here yes off of slang and it's the song gift throwing it around now it's the song um track eight so eight yeah gift of flesh you can't see that but it's up there gift of flesh um really do not love that song at all like it or anything um really have skipped that track for years um but don't worry there is another song on here that's going to be said as well so uh number six um is oh don't know why i didn't have this in my poll uh is off adrenalize and it's the song make love like a man which uh, i hated back then I did buy the single because I wanted it as in my collection. Really, have hated that song ever since. <laughs> um, it's the one that really I can do without. That and um, that and Heaven Is off of that album, but Heaven Is is not in my um, my my worst songs, but it is quite close. So, but yeah, Make Love Like a Man off of Adrenalize, the worst song on that album. For sure. Um, we're into the top five now. So back to this one, slang, and um, just I don't need to say any more about that song. Slang. There is another song that I uh, pulled out, and I thought, hang on a minute, that does sound a bit like slang, and that was um, that was on. Uh, let me just think it was a song called Tomorrow which Phil Collin wrote and it's off of there and if you listen to that song the way it goes it has got a bit of slang to it and it's um, it's just that nearly made the uh, the cut as well but it didn't um, then we go to oh yes we actually go to the only song that um, Steve Clark era I think I've got on here, except from She's Too Tough. Um, yeah, and it's uh, the song No No No, which I've always thought is a total and not a load of S-H-I-T-E. So yeah, that song on that album just does not f go with this album. No, no, no! Should have been put on uh, on through the night. Um, I'd say on through the night isn't the, a great song either, but I can play that song and not get fed up with it so much. But no, no, no is like uh, fast forward uh, on the cassette it was at the time. Skip on the CD. On the record, I suppose I wouldn't be bother too bothered about picking the the needle up and changing the record over, I'd probably just let it play. I suppose that's why when people have had records or play records, they tend to not want to get off their backsides, change the record over, so they put up with the songs. And that's why it's so easy to um, listen to the whole album all the way through. Uh, whereas CD is so easy just to go, oh God, I hate that, and then just tap the button. Um, but yeah, No 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 is definitely a skippable song. So um, this video should be called, I should be doing a video called My te Top 20 Skippable Songs. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the only one on the high and dry. Um, so number three is off of this album. And it is the song um, blah blah blah. It's track eight, and it's off of Euphoria, and it is 21st century sha la 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 girl, or wherever it goes like. Absolutely hate that song. 
I've always hated that song since this album came out. So it was it was a bit of a no brainer. I just went, oh yeah, definitely 21st century. <laughs> Write that down. And that was uh, yeah, that definitely was my f that and another song which is going to be um, obviously in the next two. But I'm not going to tell you where. Um, oh yeah, we don't need that one anymore. Uh, and then we go to. Um, do you know what, right? I've changed these two around in the last few seconds, so here we go. Number two, because number one really is the most dire song, in my opinion, by Def Leppard. Um, but this is number two, and it's off the new album. And it's the song Man Enough. I really am fed up with hearing that song. It might grow on me when I'm about 70, but um, at the moment, since 2015 definitely not um there was actually i listened to this again today and i actually got into this album a bit more than i did the first couple of listens and i'm actually pleased to say i prefer this album now right Probably more than I prefer this one, and that's 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 quite a thing because I I really was not getting into this and I really did not click with this album. Um, there are a few brilliant songs on this that I love, but it doesn't um, it doesn't get well. I I'm actually liking this more, and I know that. Um, one of the guys on the VC, um, no, uh, oh, I forgot his name now. Um, but you must check out his channel as well. And I'm just going to quickly pause the video and tap and find his channel with it. Yes, straight away I found it, and it's um, I've forgotten the guy. I, I can't remember the guy's name. But it's uh, No Stick Drummer. Check out his channel. Um, loves Def Leppard. Um, he loves this album. Uh, and he'll be quite pleased to hear me say that I've given it another listen. And I'm I'm, I am turning, I'm getting into it. Energised was a song that I was a bit bored of. Sea of Love was a bit boring. But... Um, Wings of an Angel I actually loved this time around and um, Blind Faith and Last Dance and a few others so this is warming to me now but Man and Off is a song that I really cannot stand listening to um, and also do you know what right? it does remind me of the song um, uh, the way the bass goes it's 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 a bit like um, David Essex and uh, the song Rock On. And I know that they've done a cover of that. And it's like, I feel like they've tried ripping that off type thing. I don't know. It's, it don't sound the same, but it's got that similar feel. And, um, but yeah, uh, Man and Off is definitely not as good as the song Rock On by David Essex. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so there you go, Man and Off, my second worst Def Leppard song. The first Def Leppard song that I really detest. All right, and as soon as anybody says to me, what's, your, what's the worst song they've ever done, John? And it's actually, if I can find the album, it's actually on Euphoria. All right, so people will be quite shocked that I haven't chose. I haven't chose anything off of Pyromania because that's awesome. Nothing off of Hysteria because that's awesome. Uh, I've actually... Have I chosen anything off of here? I've not actually chosen anything off of 10 either. Because I actually think that that album is much better than that one. That album is better than Euphoria. Um, and I actually prefer this album over Songs from the Sparkle Lounge as well. 
So that's a turn for the books. Uh, but yeah, the song that really is at number one for being the worst song in my eyes that Def Leppard have ever done. And it was released as a single as well. And it's the song track three called Back In Your Face. Now check that song out and tell me what you think. Because I actually hated it when I first heard it. I, at the time, that made me, my interest in Def Leppard go zoom, straight down your. It was, it, you know, and it wasn't until that came out that my interest in Def Leppard went, well, it was going down a little bit, and then it went uh, evened out. And it was going along. And then they just didn't release anything, and it was the Year album, and then my interest just went... Uh, and then Songs from Sparkle Lounge came out, and then it just levelled out. It went up slightly. And then Mirrorball was not really a proper album. It was just a live album with some extra studio tracks. So it didn't go any higher. And then when that album came out, it went <laughs> again. So this one sort of saved it from this one um, a bit. But yeah, back in your face. Back in the bin would be more like it for me. So there you go. That's my uh, top 10 worst Def Leppard songs in my opinion. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Cheers. Keep rocking. Keep watching to whatever it is you're listening to. Or watching, or and I don't need to know what you're actually watching. You don't need to put it in the comments. Uh, just as long as it's music related, I'm happy. So, cheers.